I ain't saying you can't do what you want to do. I just ain't going for it. What's up, y'all? This is 1028 Awakenings, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. What's up, Scorpios? Got my stand bag. Yay! All right, so Scorpios, let's get into it, all right? Let's see what the true emotion is behind the person that you were thinking about. What's their true emotions behind the person that Scorpio is thinking about? Ooh, Scorpio. So whoever this is that you're thinking about, they want a family with you. Their true emotions is they want to fuck with you the long way. They want to build stability with you. They want to grow with you. They love you. Damn, Scorpio. All right, so what's up? Okay, so this person does want to have a family with you. Okay, but this person has some legal issues that they need to deal with right now. I don't know if this person got in trouble with the law. They could be on a, like a home monitor or some shit like that. Okay, they could be like getting placed on child support. Like, damn, you really gonna put me on child support? And somebody is like, yeah, so somebody truly wants a family with you, but they are facing legal matters that could take up more of their money. Um, this person does want a family with you though, okay? This person also could be going to court for a ticket or this could be you, Scorpio. Like, you need to pay one of these goddamn tickets. But whoever's on your mind, they do want a family with you, okay? What else does this person that's on Scorpio's mind want with Scorpio? Okay, so we got a thug here. So somebody could be getting released from jail, okay? We got thug. Okay, so this, this person also wants to be free with you. Um, they also could want to have like... I mean, just not rough sex, but gentle, okay? Okay, so they could want to have some gentle sex with you. And this could be a thug. They want a family with you. Um, they want to have ties with you. They want to change their last name with you. With legal matters, I just really feel like that really could just be like changing your last name. They want to have a family with you. They want to be free with you, okay? But to them, they just feel like they've been going round and round, round and round. I get around. They feel like they're going in cycles with you. And these cycles suck. They are triggering, okay? And it's a lesson, but this person keep missing a lesson every time. But they want a family with you. They want to change your last name. They want to be freaky with you. This person could be a thug or they used to have a lot of run-ins with the law, okay? Like when they was younger, but not when they was older. This person could have a side hustle too. They could do some shit on the side. And you'd be like, damn, that shit is sexy. And you could have a side hustle too. And they could think that shit is sexy, how you be working all the time. Or they think that shit is handsome. But they do want a family with you, but they feel like you, you trigger them. You know what I'm saying? Too much. You know what I mean? Mm, but you like this nigga like this, okay? This person could have like a very thick beard. They could have one kid. You could have one kid. Um, This person don't get readings, but they listen to your readings. If you're a tarot card reader, they definitely do because it says getting readings in reverse and sideways. So this person does listen to your readings and they pick it apart to see which part could be applicable to their situation with you and what could be about somebody else. Somebody feel like you shady though. They feel like you expose different things about different things like topics but it's pertaining to your life or their life or things that they share with you and they feel like that's shady that you talk about this shit on your platform but you are just reading fucking cards but you know they feel like you do it in a classy way or in a bougie way because i i feel like this card is just very elegant like she she really took pride in this fucking mask you know what i'm saying and not only that like her hair is pulled back you just know this shirt is chanel even though it don't have no name on it so Whoever this is, they do feel like you have a lot of class and elegance, but they think about how shady you are, okay? But they do want a family with you, you know what I'm saying? And they do want you to change your last name to their last name, and they got a side hustle, but they listen to your readings, but they feel like you trigger them, and they trigger you, and it's a lot of triggering going on between the both of y'all. And whoever this is, they be feeling like you be throwing subliminal messages if they ask one. I think really you just be doing your job. You just be reading the cards. But like I always tell you guys, whoever watches, that's the energy that's picked up on. That's I mean, look at all the possibilities. I be telling people, like, who got time to do this? Somebody is having a tire moment. Damn, this is a firestorm. This could be because of you, Scorpio. This is their karma. This is a major ending, a loss, a mental breakdown. So somebody is really fucking shitting bricks over you. And it's all because they wanted to have a fucking family with you, Scorpio, okay? But now that shit is coming down, okay? And they realize you ain't fucking with them, that you left, you you lost okay and this person could be having a mental breakdown but they did this to themselves they don't they, i mean even 
if you want a family with somebody, you can't be acting shady with them. They think you act shady, okay? And they think you're a very free-spirited person as well, but they get triggered and keep it in their mind. They got a whole grudge against you. They ain't telling you. You can't keep going out like this. You're not X, man. You can't read people's minds, okay? Unless you are Professor um, X, okay? It says, I'm focused on you instead of my pain. I focused on you instead of my pain. And it says, I hate seeing you with them. So somebody feels like you with somebody else because this card does not even belong. And that could be the truth too. That's just a lie. Somebody is not with somebody. I hate seeing you with them. Doesn't know. I don't think there's anybody. So this person could have lied and said they was with somebody. They're not with nobody. I'm focused on you instead of my pain. So, you know, somebody could be going through a lot of pain right now and they should be focusing on that. But they really focusing on the pain of you leaving, you not being around. But they should be focused on something else. That's just basically saying somebody loves you. And instead of focusing on that they love you and being open with you so you can be there for them in their time of need, they want to suppress it and blame it on you. This person is immature, so you might got to leave them alone, okay? But they do want a family with you, so I don't know. Maybe you already got one with their ass. It says you, can, you can't you can come with me. This person wants you to come with them, okay? They want you to do, they want to do stuff with you, okay? Um, that's the thing that you don't know. And this could be somebody who don't do nothing with you on the 3D because it's in reverse. But all they want to do is do stuff with you, okay? But they can't right now or they don't want to or they're not making no energy to do it or they're telling you a lot so they can do this shit somewhere else because that's really what I feel. I fear that you will reject me. So this person does feel like they want to do something with you, but you'll reject you. But I'm telling you, if a man want to do something with you, he going to do it. So don't let all these cards fucking fool you and psych your mind, okay? Uh, wherever he at, that's where the loyalty lies. You know what I'm saying? And it may not lie all the way with you as well. It could be a gamble to deal with you, okay? Um, because they're scared of your loyalty or if you even have it. Because this person thinks you shady as fuck and you do it through reading or you do it through getting a reading, Okay. 12 12 you know but you just really just stay in focus but this person don't really really feel like you focus they feel like you just secretly focused on them and fixated on them and you making money off of them i don't know what's going on here with focus in reverse like somebody's eating this shit up in the wrong way they need to express themselves they need to be more diplomatic and just see this from a different approach yeah they need to express themselves but somebody feel like you focused on them and that's all you fucking focus on this cycle with this person ended anyway um, you could have expressed yourself in this situation. They could have not. They could be seeing 999. The cycle between you and them is closing out. This person does watch your readings, you know what I'm saying? And I don't think that's going to stop. Um, after time goes on, they're going to realize they're not a part of the reading or they were never in the reading to begin with. <laughs> okay. All right. So I don't know. But you know, people got to make their own story to get them through the day. Let's see what's going on for you, Scorpio, in your career. Okay. What's going on for my Scorpios in their career? What they need to know if they're an entrepreneur or not. What do my Scorpios need to know right now for <sighs> employment? Okay, so you're in a transition. So this season, you could feel like you don't want to do this job no more. Like, this just not enough, okay? But it says changes are coming that require you to shift into a new way of thinking and doing business. Don't resist it. Embrace the change. So you do have a change that's coming up. You need to embrace it. It could be very uncomfortable. Some of it is just losing your job. This also says growing wealth, increase in investing yourself so a lot of your investment you had to use or take out okay but as long as you give back and donate to the community with a well open heart the energy will of abundance will surround you and your business so just know even though your investments you had to like transition um when the season was changing you had to use all this investment money or something if you give back that money will come to you in a, a financial monetary way okay so just know that if you start giving back and don't be stingy which i know it's hard for y'all to do because you're like bitch i don't have no money how i'm gonna give how i'm gonna do this if you can still move like that and still give with the little bit that you do have, it will come back to you 20-fold. And that's something that you have to test within your own parameters, okay? All right, what else do my Scorpios need to know about their friends? What about their friends? What about Scorpio friends that they need to know at this time? Okay, so a lot of people could be around you just to be a groupie. They could be doing this for clout. So just know that you do have a friend here that really don't fucking fuck with you like that okay but they just don't like to be lonely so this is the only reason this person is calling you and talking to you okay and they only want to partner up with someone and tag along with somebody because they don't want to be by themselves but they don't really fuck with you so just know that you got a groupie here that's in your atmosphere scorpio and they don't really fucking like you they just around you because whoever that they used to be around they can't be around their ass no more damn 
That's crazy. All right, so Scorpios, let's get to it. Let's see what angel numbers you need to know at this time. What angel numbers do Scorpios need to know at this time? Okay, so you are very intuitive, but somebody is not, okay? Somebody is not intuitive, but you could be very intuitive, okay? Uh, somebody could feel like you're stupid or you're slow, and they could probably, like, try to roast you or do something like that, okay? Whoever this is, uh, this is somebody that you thought would support you, okay? Or you thought y'all were supporting each other, but you weren't. Your intuition is right. There were some times this person was jabbing you, but you were correct, Okay? You also think that this person um, is very self-centered. It says, I am centered. They are. So whoever this is, you supported them. They're very self-centered. This person could be jealous or envious of you. You follow your intuition. They don't follow their intuition. And they could be thinking about how much money you get, how the universe supports you different from how they support them. Okay? And it's because you're very focused. All right? And you don't go against your intuition. This person does go against their intuition. Uh, you could be thinking about money. You got this money. This money is coming to you, Scorpio. You are supported, okay? And it's all because you stayed centered in your energy and you kept doing something or kept putting energy into stuff, okay? But you need to start listening to your intuition. You are very brilliant and you are very refined. You have a very refined mind and it, it uncovers life's mysteries. You have the ability to acquire vast knowledge on both a informational and spiritual plane which gives you great awareness which really gives me you got nigga smarts street smarts and book smarts okay put your ass in any fucking situation you're gonna come out of there like goddamn the lion king you know what i'm saying all right but i do feel like someone is having a huge firestorm somebody's having hella karma but their karma could just be the ending of y'all it just and it's in it's bad okay but you could have money on on the brain your money is coming you are being supported okay um so just know that also your intuition could have told you to tell somebody something and they took it the wrong way when you just trying to help somebody you know and let them know like this is why this this bad thing could be happening to you because you're boomerang in this energy our words are very powerful you know and if you love somebody you'll just tell them just you know it's hard to text stuff i hate texting stuff i wish i could talk to people but you know it is what it is somebody is thinking about going through your shit but they know that's gonna cause a problem you could have went through somebody's shit and that caused the problem um but somebody just don't want to argue with you they just kind of feel like you could be lying or you could be talking to somebody somebody got some real bad trust issues they need to work on that shit before they come fuck with you bye is really private, but will sting if you get close. Huh? And they rule by planet Mars, they stay determined, then don't go. go. Don't make a Scorpio strike because they venom pack a punch. Ah. So you better come correct, cause like a shark, you can't get much. Scorpios get what they want, and what they want is what they get. That's they appreciate the ones they love, they ain't worth the fake shit. Uh -uh. They don't really like people switching up, uh -uh. and they can't be kinda controlling like bitch. Shut the fuck up. Shut Scorpios up. are leaders and they always think ahead. And they also open minded, so you gotta give them credit. Give them. If you date in the Scorpio and they like you, they will make you happy. They also like a meal, so in the kitchen, all you can't be like. Scorpios are often trendy and they got the best drip. And they do not disappoint, man. You just gotta tap in. Tagging shit is video to a Scorpio. You